Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Homefront. Let's get it, boys. The Earlston Yellow Zone. It's game time. I'm gonna be out. As you guys can see, we have quite the uh, quite the riot started. People burning random debris out in the street and all kinds of stuff. I like to see the people on cars. Running around with baseball bats. Order will be restored. I don't think so, KPA. Oh, wow, they're even beating up the soldiers. No way. Go ahead and take that. All right. Looks like this is where we're going. We're visiting the dock, right? Don't fight me. Don't fight me. Take a look. Take a good look. This is your doing. You and Ned stirred up trouble in the zone. And this is the price? People, Brady. Innocent people. All this fine talk about revolution. But it's always the ordinary people who suffer. I just don't have the supplies to treat everyone. Seeing as your actions brought most of them here. Maybe you'd be willing to help. The KPA have a depot on the other side of town. Should have medical supplies. You want to do some good? Get me what you can. All right, so I kind of see what he's saying. Man of peace reached the medical depot, so we're going to go get some medical supplies for him. Leave me alone. I'm in so much pain. Oh. Did you guys see his ear? Where we? Oh, we have to go up, back out this way. Yeah, I, I understand what he's saying. Like, it's unfortunate that some people do have to get hurt in a revolution. But, I mean, if people aren't revolting, there's not going to be a revolution. You know what I mean? Like, people have to get hurt. I'd rather get hurt fighting for what I believe in than surrendering to the KPA and being oppressed forever. It's a risk you take. Otherwise, the civvies will... I mean, if that... Guy wasn't willing to get hurt, he'd stay inside, you know what I mean? New texts. Remember Braid of the KPA are like us. Uh, no, no, no. Destroy the country, don't show any mercy, of course. I know that. And we aren't gonna show any mercy to them. Like one more street up? No, it's this one right here. Ha! This has to be it. Oh wait, there's a guy up top. Brady, it's Burnett. Do we have to worry about him? Looks like it's protected by electronic locks, but your friends in the resistance always have ways to override them. I heard Ned established an equipment factory in the district. I suggest you see if they can help. I'm uploading the location onto your phone. All right, find the GTK hack devices. Let's do it, boys. We're gonna be able to get through some KPA security. Dude, that's awesome. Only until the systems reset. Then they go back to normal, so watch out. 
Here, grab some hectares and have a go. All right, this is next level. You guys are in here just cooking up some. Will override drones, security doors, cameras, you name it. Pretty damn useful. Just no throw the way. The panel. Throw it at the panel. Got him. Bingo. You just broke into a maximum security compound. Go ahead and well, grab one more. Anyway. If you run out of hacks, you can always build more. Yeah. All right. Go put them to good use for you. Is there anything in here? All right, boys. So we have like a a magical hacking device that turns turrets on the KPA, opens up their doors, does pretty much everything. That's kind of cool. Let's go put this bad boy to work. Clinic needs all the medical supplies we can get our hands on. Anything you find and bring to me will help save lives. All right, I got you, Doc. Night, night. I love this crossbow so much, dude. I kind of want to switch it out for a different secondary weapon, or I guess technically it's considered a primary. But I just, I love it so much. It's so useful. Oh, we still got that guy up top. Might as well get him. I think we're safe to go inside, right? Gotta find like the little, the little terminal. Wait, is that a camera talking to me? Oh, it's over there. Yeah, it's got the wire going to it. So we just throw it to this. And we're in, boys. Let's get it. All right, guys. Sorry I had to pause. Cooper and Coda started barking, but um, we're kind of trying to sneak through here a little bit. That's our objective. Into that vent. I think we have to blow it open somehow. Lots of enemies up above us. You guys can see that. Oh, shoot. They are coming this way, boys. Oh, God. <laughs> Two of them. Hurry, hurry. Gotcha. Let's go, baby. Oh, no. They're going to be searching for us. Let's get up. Ooh. Whoa. Can you see me down here? I think he can. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, boys, this is not good. Oh, he's a chug. No. What do I do? Oh, run, run, run. Got two health packs left. Oh, we've got to lay into this guy. Let's just do it. Let's go, boys. Oh, he's down. Let's go. All right, there's one more flanking behind us and to the left. As much as we can, hopefully get a health kit. Oh, it's starting to rain. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Alright. Some objects can be destroyed using explosives. Alright, we're getting a nade. To our right, to our left, everywhere. He's down. So there's still one more kind of up and to our right. See, oh, it's right there. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, he's pushing us now. Dude, this is not good. Alright, we, we need to make a move here. These guys suck at shooting through stairs. Crossbow bolts. It's good to me. Oh. Attention. They're throwing nades. Can we just throw a nade at this and just call it a day? Or a pipe bomb? Yes! Get in. Let's go. Come on, give me a checkpoint. We gotta hack this quick. Oh. No. Here, do the left one first. There we got it. There. Yes, boys. Good. To <gasps> what? Walker 
Hammer's gone too. Why would they do this? Did they know we were coming? God, what a mess. Look, don't blame yourself, Brady. You did everything you could. At least we got Earlston behind us. You better head to the subway when you can. Parrish wants to see you. Hopefully, he'll know what to do next. Dude, that was brutal. Are you kidding me? They killed our only intel on where Walk was being taken. Bloodshed for nothing. At least the supplies you got me don't let me treat a lot of people. They won't get a chance to thank you, so I'm doing it for them. But ask yourself, was it worth it? I mean, like I said before, I never want anybody to die, but sometimes it's gotta happen, you know what I mean? Alright. Where's this objective? Oh, I can't find it. Let's just. Run to it, meet Parrish in the subway? I guess we could do that. It's 110 meters away. There's like no KPA presence anymore, which makes me happy, but this is only one area of many, dudes. I've heard the campaign in this game is pretty long. I think it's supposed to be like 30 hours. I'm glad you guys are digging it. It's something that's a little bit different. But, uh... I've been enjoying it. It's just, it's not perfectly polished, but it's still cool. All right, so we are going to be taking the tunnel back to what I believe is like the first, first area we spawned in, that like red zone or whatever. Here we are, boys. I figured we'd have a location by now. Something. What if they just kill him? How are we going to start the revolution without Walker? You know, people need a hero. Someone they can follow. It's out of our control. All we can do is keep fighting. Yeah. Hey, Brady boy. Come in. Come in. You're doing a fantastic job, pal. I better watch my back. You'll be taking over from me around here soon. Nice to have someone who knows what they're doing. Very funny. Oh, dial 911. What's up, Doc? What brings you all the way down here, Doctor? If someone tell you we found some band-aids? Listen, Crawford sent a message. The KPA know about the armory. No! What the fuck did you say? If they hit the army, we'll lose it all. All our weapons, all the equipment. You gotta warn your men. There's still time to get them out. Not without those weapons. We need them for the uprising. We'll be left fighting the Norks with spoons. No, no, no. We need to get everything out first. Find some place new to stash it. We should turn the tables. Surprise them before they hit us. Yeah. Yeah, an evacuation's gonna take a while anyway, huh? We need to stall them. It sounds like it's ambush time. Of, uh, explosives ready. If it's an orc landing all the way over in Pyongyang. <laughs> Fireworks, Ethan. You think this is funny? Think you can joke about killing like it's nothing? Hey, Doc. Last time I took the moral high ground, I brought a sniper rifle. So where are we gonna stash the guns? Hmm? <laughs> I like that sniper safe. rifle comment. A few places would be better. So, uh... Hey, Doc. We're gonna need to use your clinics. You're insane. Perfect. When the revolution starts, we'll have everything right where we need it. No! What if the Nox find them? They'll execute everyone. You can't risk my people. That's not ideal, Doc, but this is fucking war, man. I spent four years begging, borrowing, and stealing to get these clinics up and running. It's a joke to even call them that. But they're all we have. All the people have. Well, be careful, Sam. I'm sorry, we got no choice. The hell with you. Does he not see the bigger picture here? Oh, so sweet. How can we win a war if we don't have weapons? We need to get over to the army and help prepare the ambush. Me and Dana are gonna round up as many fighters as we can and meet you over there. You don't have all the fun without us, Ethan. Let's do it. You gotta hold them off until we get there with reinforcements. We need to secure those weapons. You understand me? Don't let me down. I got you. Hey, Dana, come on. Let's do it, boys! Let's go start an ambush. There. 